the town of Rasnov. <laughs> <laughs> they have the cute little Hollywood sign. This is huge. It looks really big from the road, but this guy's a monster. So we're gonna explore Bratchoff today. They have a ton of cool historical sites that we really wanted to check out. So we're in the, the Central Plaza and we're just here to soak up the ambiance. All right, so we're having the traditional Romanian food today. Hey y'all, if you're new around here, I'm Sammy and this is my husband, Tommy. We just started our two week Romanian road trip. In our last video, we arrived to Bucharest by an old train with lots of character. On our first day, we explored the capital. Then we rented a car and visited our first Romanian castle. Today we are back on the road to see more of Transylvania and driving to the world's largest bear sanctuary. Sam, we get our makeup done? Oh, good morning, friends. We are running super behind. We're on these like dirt roads that are so bumpy. Hopefully we make it to our tour on time. The bear sanctuary has to be taken with a guided tour. So it was at nine and it is 9.01 now, so. We arrived at 9.07 and missed our scheduled tour. We are never late for anything. We're usually always on time. For some reason today, things were just not going our way. Google Maps wasn't working. We forgot our charging cable. We had to go back and get that. We couldn't let our phones die. We were just running late. And that is just how life goes sometimes. And we have a great view. This sweet lady at the ticket counter told us we could wait and see if any future spots opened up. I think we're gonna get in today. Yes, positive thoughts, I like it. So I think the lady saved us a couple spots because they announced that all of the tickets were sold out and then she looked at us and was like, you guys can go. So, <laughs> I'm so excited, okay, let's go. I love the people that work here. It was extra 50 lei to use your camera too. So we paid for that and we're just waiting for our tour now. Thank you. Thank you. We're in. The tour begins with a heartbreaking short video explaining why this sanctuary was started and their future goals. Romania is home to 60% of Europe's brown bear population, and over 130 bears have been rescued from an abusive life in small cages. Many of them were kept behind bars near restaurants, hotels, and gas stations as tourist attractions. The tour was an emotional experience as every bear we saw had their own personal tragic story. Most of these bears are unable to return to the wilderness because they have spent their entire lives in captivity. It was a sad and eye-opening tour, but definitely a place worth supporting. Okay, so we just finished the tour. It's great what they're doing for the bears. It's always still sad seeing like the animals still in enclosures. They also had deer and wolves, wolves. there. For $15 a person, I guess a little more if you have a camera. It was fine. It wasn't as great as we thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. We've been to better places Sanctuary. like this. Orangutan Sanctuary in Borneo, the best sanctuary we've ever been to. We're gonna go find some food and we're gonna go check out a really cool fortress in the area. Yeah, off to Raznov we go. Guys, there's just all these horses on the side of the road. They're so pretty. And then we have all the cows over there. Here they come, baby. Now I'm scared. I'm gonna just toss it so they don't get near the cars. Oh, they want a piece of that. Wow, look how pretty they are. arrived to our second stop of the day. We are in the town of Rasnov. <laughs> they have the cute little Hollywood sign there. They have a fortress and a clock tower and we're gonna go check them out.
So we're just walking around this little town. It's so funny because every town we've come to in Romania has been jam-packed with people and restaurants and we are so hungry right now and there's no restaurants <laughs> to be found <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> this is our option. Pizza. just finished our delicious lunch and now we're heading up to the cable car to go up to the fortress. Twelve lay each, round trip up to the fortress and back down. Funicular was not worth the money. They crammed you in there. It was super tight and yeah, we should have walked. For one adult, one child, please. <laughs> Hello, sir. This is huge. It looks really big from the road, but this guy's a monster. So this fortress is actually discovered in the 13th century. So it was built by the Teutonic Knights. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pretty much to protect all the Transylvanian villages because it's such a high viewpoint. You can see everything around you. Beautiful panoramic views. You can feel how old it is here. It's very cool. That's the cutest trash can. We are leaving Rasnov Fortress now and heading to the one I'm most excited about. It's called Piles, Piles Castle. So I just put in the directions <laughs> to get to Piles Castle and it's closed on Monday and Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, so that means we are not going there. So instead, we are gonna explore the town which we're staying at. So we're gonna explore Bratchoff today. They have a ton of cool historical sites that we really wanted to check out. In typical Tommy and Sammy fashion, we just missed it. Somehow. All right, let's go explore Batchoff. Woo, found a spot. All right, first things first, let's go get some local Romanian food. Sammy, what are you doing? I am making as a list of everything that we have to see in the old town. There can't be any joking around. We have to go see these sites get the list done because we only have tonight so we're gonna be efficient about this. That sounds so fun. <laughs> It'll be fun <laughs> and efficient. Alright so we're having the traditional Romanian food today. I ordered beef gumbachu pickles that's all I got. I believe it's pork with potatoes. 
really meaty stew. It's delicious. It's peppery too, I love it. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I ordered a slowly cooked mixed meat stew with polenta. We have sausage, polenta, and sauce. Kind of tastes like jambalaya. Or gumbo. More like a gumbo. So so I did forget to talk about the traditional Transylvania potato bread. It looks like normal bread. It's a little harder, I guess, than normal bread, but still good. It's gonna be perfect for dipping it in my goulash. <laughs> Try mine and see what you think. No, no, don't take another bite of yours. Try mine. Ooh, that is super tender. So what should they order? It's really good, but the goulash is better. I gotta say, goulash is worth that. Okay. Okay, so we did get a traditional dessert. It's donuts with yogurt sauce and berries on top. It looks delicious. I have like zero expectations. And this just blew, blew it away. It's so good. So we're in the central plaza and we're just here to soak up the ambiance. And that was on my to-do list. So right behind me is called the Black Church. So it's got its name from the 1700s when it got burnt down in a fire. Burnt, the walls got burnt and it burned down. This is the original. It did not get burnt down. It's the original. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're good. This Gothic church is actually the largest church in the area. I guess from Vienna all the way to Istanbul. This street was originally constructed for firefighters to bring through two buckets of water so they wouldn't have to walk around the whole wall to get inside the town for a fire. That's what this street was made for. It is the third narrowest street in Europe. So behind me is Catherine's Gate. So it was the original gates for this city. It was used when the Saxons inhibited this village and they wanted to keep all the Romanians out and the Romanians could only enter this city paying a fee through this gate, the original city gates. It looks so like Disney. It's not my fault. <laughs> You've been lying saying wow. that I took Alright, now we're doing a romantic walk behind the wall. <laughs> it was recommended to us by our Airbnb host. It's supposed to be like very peaceful next to the water. It's nice. Cross it off the list. I take your options. Now I'm not the problem. Man, that's on you. You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb. Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy. I've been thinking lately, lately it's me. You stole your peace, put it on me. We decided to skip the last two stops. We were tired and we actually got distracted by this main square again. So they have like a movie playing in the background and they have these live drummers. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. It's such cool energy and the people are all having fun. And it's like a busy weekend night, even though it's during the week. Yeah, it's fun. Well, that's it for today. We're getting up at 5 a.m. because we have another adventure packed day. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> the website I looked up for <laughs> the local dishes, traditional, was Hungarian dishes. We are in Romania. 
little off. Wait, tell them story about the desserts. Tell them about the desserts. What happened? Okay, so I had my picture up <laughs> to ask our waiter. <laughs> It's like, oh, do you guys have this dish? Where can I find it? He's looking at us, like, what? First I asked the first girl that came by, she's like, I've never seen that. I was like, okay. Asked the next guy, and he was like, no. He's like, this is Hungarian, points to the word Hungarian traditional dishes. <laughs> yeah, I'm still read about it super <laughs> So those were not traditional. He's ready to get the check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check, <check-wise>. please. <laughs> we're recovering from that blemish. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I'm ready. Three, two, one, action! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so right behind me is called the Black Church. So it got its name in the 1700s. It, all its walls were burnt down. And oh, it looked... <laughs> 